When I was growing up, I always put myself second. I always felt like I needed to kind of hide because every time I was out in the open, somebody was making fun of me, something was happening that I didn't appreciate, and then that's when I would lose my temper. I was always in trouble, I was always getting suspended from school, fighting, just every week my mom was having to come up to the school at least two or three times a week. In order to protect myself from losing my cool, I would just try to hide because that would protect me from something happening and then me having to lash out to protect myself, if that makes sense. Growing up in a, in a place like Rockford, Illinois, it was in Forbes as the ninth most dangerous city in America. Like it was a really rough place to grow up. And so when there's a little guy like me, I don't have the deepest voice, you know, I am a little flamboyant, I'm into the arts. I'm like all the things that a regular black boy from the hood is really not, or at least not supposed to be. And the thing is, is that would always open the pathway for someone to make fun of me because I was different. I didn't sound like anyone, I didn't look like anyone, and I was not interested in the things that most people at my school were interested in. No matter what age I was, I was always the man of the house. I had a little brother, my mom was always working, she was putting herself through school. Even if I was 12, I had to figure out what my brother and I were gonna wear to school the next day, what we were eating at night. And I'm not saying that mom wasn't there because I had an amazing mother, but the thing is is that there were moments where I, I had to take care of others. And I kind of adapted this nurturing, I guess, personality as I grew up, you know? I always took care of everyone. In addition to being so sad and angry, I felt like nobody could see me. It was kind of like I was just going through this alone. And that's how I actually got into performing because the first time that I entered a talent show, which was uh, seventh grade, Eisenhower Middle School, I got that applause and I was like, they can see me. Feeling seen, that changed everything for me because I don't even really know what happened, but somehow I was not as angry. I wasn't as sad anymore. That was like a turning point where when I performed for the first time. I have accomplished so much and I am so grateful that I can literally just look back at everything that I've overcome and say that I've been around the world. Just to look back on like all of the things that I felt was impossible and it was unheard of for a little black boy from Rockford, Illinois, of all places, to go headline their own tour in another country. How do you go from getting suspended from school every day to traveling the world, going on America's Got Talent, and then becoming a Grammy contender and being in the top of the iTunes rock charts? Like, my heart is so full when I even think about it because for many, that, that's just, that, that, that kind of stuff does not happen, you know? I'm the first in my family to ever go around the world.